So were you ever told campfire stories? Let me think. Yes, my family and I used to tell campfire stories during our hunting trips. We would share tales of great Nordic heroes and legendary creatures such as trolls and draugr. I remember once my father told us a story about a warrior who battled a powerful dragon and emerged victorious. It was a thrilling and inspirational tale that instilled courage in me and my siblings. As a housecarl, my identity is closely tied to my duties and my role as a protector and servant. However, I do have my own thoughts, feelings and desires and I strive to maintain a sense of balance between my duty and my inner self. It can be a challenge at times, particularly when my emotions conflict with my duties or when I am faced with difficult decisions. However, I try to stay true to who I am at my core and to act with integrity and honor in everything that I do. Greetings there, Traveler. How are you on this fine day? Yes, we'll be open for a few more hours. War Maidens is typically open from 8 am until 8 pm. Is there something you need? What time is it now? Let me think. It's approximately 5 pm. Is there anything I can help you with? What do you think of this? Let me think. Let me take a closer look at that sword. It seems to be a well-crafted iron sword with a soul gem embedded in the hilt. The enchantment on it allows the wielder to capture the souls of their enemies. I was just taking a break from the shop and decided to come here to relax for a bit. The Bannered Mare is always a great place to unwind after a long day. Greetings to you. I am Adrian Evanixon, blacksmith and owner of War Maidens in Whiterun. An interview, you say? As long as it doesn't interfere with my studies, I don't see why not. Sure, I can share some of the basic principles of combat that are essential for any warrior to master. Kinnareth is the goddess of nature and the elements, and is often depicted as a powerful figure, clothed in green and bearing a wreath of leaves or flowers. Kinnareth blesses her followers with swift feet and sharp senses, and her worshippers often seek her guidance in matters of hunting, healing, and agriculture. Certainly, she is known for her compassion for all stop. living things and her desire to preserve the natural balance of the world. If you're after plants, the plains around Whiterun are a good place to start. You can find alchemical ingredients like lavender, hanging moss, and tundra cotton growing. Keep your knees bent and slightly flexed to help absorb impacts and allow for quick movements. 3. Avoid standing still for too long, as this makes you an easier target. Move around and use your footwork to keep your opponent off balance. When we look at the world through the lens of interconnectedness, we begin to see that our well-being is intertwined with the well-being of all living things. Just as a single drop of water can create a ripple that spreads throughout the whole pond, so too can our choices and actions affect the world around us. If we can learn to honor and respect this interconnectedness, we may find ourselves living in greater harmony with the natural world and with each other. But we are all part of the same web of life, and our actions and choices have a ripple effect that can be felt throughout the natural world. As for imagining a world without magic, it is certainly an interesting thought experiment, but I believe that it is ultimately impossible to truly envision a reality that does not contain some form of mystery or wonder. Some might argue that we are products of genetics, environment, and conditioning, and that our lives and choices are predetermined to a certain extent. Others might argue that we have a degree of free will and the power to shape our own destinies. Ultimately, though, such philosophical inquiries do not have a concrete answer and are better left to those who have the time and energy to ponder them. As for me, I'll stick to what I know best for dim weapons and armor. Life is full of obstacles and setbacks. And there are moments when it can be difficult to stay true to our convictions. We are all human and we are bound to make mistakes and have moments of weakness. As a priest, as a kinnaret, I believe that the goddess is always with me, guiding me on my path and giving me the strength and wisdom I need to stay true to my deepest values. 
The creation of intelligent machines and constructs can certainly lead us to question how we define life and consciousness. Ultimately, the existence of constructs such as automatons can serve to further our knowledge and understanding of the world around us. While I appreciate Nordic culture, I do not share the same war-oriented mindset as they do. I prefer to live a more peaceful life, appreciate music, and soak up the beauty of our land. Sometimes, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of Skyrim and forget to appreciate the little things in life. There are many different ways to cultivate mindfulness, and it can be practiced in a variety of settings and activities. Each of these practices involves focusing your attention on the present moment and allowing your thoughts and feelings to simply pass by without being affected by them. It was a pleasure speaking with you. May the journey ahead bring you much joy and discovery. It was good talking to you as well, friend. Don't hesitate to stop by War Maidens if you ever need anything. Have a good night, and may Talos guide your steps. Oh.